Brazil is divided in five big regions. The one that we already talked about a lot because of the style bossa nova is the one in kind of red. You know, it's, it's the state of Minas Gerais, São Paulo, Espírito Santo, and Rio de Janeiro, the birth of Bossa Nova. Now, let me show you and, and tell you a little bit about the blue one. This is the Northeast region. So from the Northeast, we have a main different group of styles, different from the samba. Samba is pretty much written and played in two with the emphasis on the second beat. One and two, one and two. And, you know, different tempos and variations. The styles from the Northeast, most of them, the majority, they have a different beat. It's one, two, one, two, with the two anticipated. So, on this episode, we're going to talk about Bayão and Forró, you know, the, the main styles from this type, okay? Come with us and learn a little bit about the Brazilian styles from different regions. The Southeast region in red and the Northeast region in blue. I just typed Luis Gonzaga and all the pictures that came out on Google show the great, the terrific accordionist Luis Gonzaga and singer, you know, with his funny hat like a Brazilian cowboy from the Northeast. Luis Gonzaga is the main figure from the Northeast music from Brazil. His big hit called Asa Branca and many others will be available on the playlist for this episode. I'm... Let me introduce you to my friend Leander Mota. Welcome Leander. Yeah, <laughs> Leander is an expert on percussion. Brazilian percussion is going to help us understanding the Zabumba, this amazing instrument used for forró and baião. How do you play this instrument, Leander? Show us, please. Okay, the, this uh, stick muffled and use, and the bacalhau, the translation is codfish. I don't know why, but it's called bacalhau. So, so you use the muffled uh, on top and the bacalhau in the back. Oh, great. Okay, Leandre, show us. Bayon? Yeah, Bayon. faster land Here is the tune Asa Branca by Luis Gonzaga, one of the most famous tunes on a Bayon style. It's a very simple tune using harmonies, very basic. Let me show you how I'm working on this tune. First, let's see the left hand just playing open triads. second 
phrase goes C, F, G, and C. Check the melody. It's just based on the five fingers position using the five first steps of C. C, D, E, F, G. I'm keeping the harmony very slow paced to let you play, pay attention on the melody. Now with the groove on the left hand, check how I'm doing pretty much the same thing as a Bumba did. Here's a little interlude played between the stanzas. F triad, C and G sus. Now I'm, I'm gonna change a little bit the harmony, just keeping C on bass when I play the F chord. G sus, which is F with the basic G. flat G over the same chords C with the bass in B flat F with the bass in A F minor with the bass in A flat and C the same interlude now I'm gonna use the minor mode very typical with the music from the northeast, just changing modes. Instead of major, I'm playing with the minor scale. The same interlude, the same different harmony. Brazilian music from the northeast, Baião, Chachado, Xote, all these variations, like the samba, they have three layers. The one made with the muffled uh, stick, the second layer would be the bacalhau, and the third layer, I'll show you later, is the, the triangle. Layer one would be the muffled stick, Yes, like the surdo and the samba. And the bacalhau does what would be called the treble part, like the tambourine in the samba does. And the third layer is the triangle. Let me show you the triangle. You see, you have the triangle open and the triangle muffled. Great. Good. Woo! Another big name from the northeastern region is Hermeto Pascual. You know, you can see him playing a little accordion, a soprano sax, a keyboard, a big uh, bone. And here with Jacob Collier playing pandero, percussion, and again the big the big bond thing 
uh, blowing on a pan, a little melodica, and uh, singing. It's a tremendous musician, trumpet. And, you know, Hermeto is a genius. His music is, flows like water. He has a wonderful project that he called Sound Calendar. And he wrote one tune per day, 30, 366 tunes, because he wrote two tunes for his birthday. On a course of one year start, starting on his birthday and ending on his next birthday, he wrote a tune every day. Once we work on a very easy tune like Asa Branca, let's pick another one at Santo Antonio by Hermeto Pascual. It's a kind of complex tune and makes three different parts. The first part is the part in F minor, C7. So the combination of the melody and the, the, the comping goes like... The second part is, in fact, uh, a mix of three different parts. The one that goes to F7, more like a dominant sound. E7, like an alternate sound. is a combination of a triad of G with the triad of F doing the bion groove here and the melody. Okay, let's listen to the whole tune now.
learning this tune, leave a message on our YouTube channel and then we'll mail to you the, the part. <laughs>